Imagine a life without science and technology. You wouldn't be able to see me right now. You also wouldn't be able to connect with your friends using your cell phone. It would take a lifetime to explain how many aspects of our daily lives are impacted by science and technology. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, in short, the CSIR, is the largest research organization in Africa, and we are celebrating our 75-year anniversary. We do work that improves your quality of life and that of other people. In this video, I will take you on an epic journey to show you some of our awesome innovations and introduce you to young people working at the CSIR. Meet young people like you who excelled at math and science and received bursaries from the CSIR. My name is Guanele Doloshe and I'm 17 years old. I am doing BSc in Mechanical Engineering in Howard College. My name is Parisa Jida Gama. I'm 18 years old and I'm currently in Stellenbosch University studying BSc in Forestry. I'm from Amansgrau, Pretoria. I am Kensane Labahamba Bella. I am from Gauteng, Pretoria, Amansgrau. I'm currently studying BSc in Molecular Biology at Stellenbosch University. I got to study at Howard College through CSIR after I have obtained four distinctions, specifically two distinctions as math and physics. I got your three CSIR which came to school regular secondary school last year. Uh, they promised to award us with a bursary, the top learners in pure math and sciences. I was awarded a CSIR bursary when I was in matric because of my outstanding academic performance. If you study hard in matric, a lot of doors are going to open for you. If the CSIR did not give me the bursary, it would have been hard for my parents as I know that they, they wouldn't afford to pay for it. Had the CSIR not sponsored my studies, I would have to apply for other funding bursaries, um, which kind of made it, everything, almost everything easier for me. If the CSIR have, hadn't given me this bursary, I wouldn't have had this chance to study at Stellenbosch University or any other university because I'm from a disadvantaged family. They wouldn't have afforded all the tuition fees and all the accommodation fees. So I am very grateful that the CSIR gave me this opportunity to study far from home. I would like to encourage matriculants to study pure math and sciences and like study hard or be strategic about it. The advice that I want to give to young matriculants is to select the subjects properly and, and work hard on those subjects. They can select pure math and physics as they are not hard if you work really hard to, 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 to pass them. And as they have the many opportunities in the university. What I would like to say to young matriculants is that all of this started when I first chose pure maths and science as one of my subjects to study at grade 10. These subjects, they open a lot of doors for me. These subjects, they, they come with a lot of opportunities for in future. If you choose these subjects, a lot of bursaries, they're going to be willing to fund you. With that being said, I would like to say, never think that pure maths and science it's hard because nothing comes easy if you choose those subjects Vela you're gonna have a brighter future if you work hard of course I would like to thank the CSIR for funding me and I will always be grateful and I'll always try to find ways to show my gratitude towards them what I would like to say to the CSIR is that I am very grateful for this opportunity I am very grateful that they chose me out of all of this, all of those learners. Without their funding, I wouldn't have been able to study this course. I wouldn't have able to be one step ahead at achieving one of my goals, which is to become a medical lab technologist after a few years. So I am very grateful that they are helping me to become a better version of myself. Thank you, CSIR. I would like to thank CSIR for funding me and continue to fund all the kids like me who live in rural areas and want them to know that what they are doing is really good. Thanks, CSIR. 
you too can become part of the CSIR family if you study hard and get good grades so that you can qualify to apply for our bursaries, which can be found on our website, csir.co.za. Let's have a look at these cool innovations that the CSIR has done. More recently, we collaborated with government in the fight against COVID-19 by developing a ventilator with a unique design to help COVID-19 patients breathe easily. The ventilator does not need electricity to operate. Our scientists also contributed to lithium-ion battery research. Today, these batteries power our smartphones, laptops, electric vehicles, smart grids, and even our homes. Our researchers in defense and security have developed a technology that is helping to fight rhino poaching at the Kruger National Park. Here is Zanel Ntidi to talk to you about smarter water use in growing apples in the Western Cape. South Africa is a dry country. The apples are, are grown in a dry season in the Western Cape because the growing season of apples is from October up until March. In the Western Cape we have uh, winter rainfall. We need to irrigate because we don't depend on, on rainwater. There is no rain in this state. So in this orchard we are actually measuring the water use from young trees which are not yet bearing fruit. Then we are also measuring from intermediate uh, bearing uh, fruits which yield between uh, 30 and uh, 60 tons per hectare. Then we are also measuring from uh, full bearing trees which are yielding 80 to more than uh, 100 tons per hectare. So we are comparing the water use from the young stage up until the full bearing stage. We are hoping we can come up with some irrigation triggering guidelines that can help the farmers when they, when they irrigate. So with, in, with these guidelines, they can know when to irrigate, how much to irrigate with. So in that way, we are hoping that water can be saved, such that they do not put more water when the trees actually need less. Oh, when we measure the water use of trees, we actually have an eddy covariance system, which is a system that measures evapotranspiration from the entire orchard. So from the water use that is measured by the eddy covariance, there is component from the soil, soil evaporation, there's a component from the tree, tree transpiration, and then there's a component from the cover crop, which is the cover crop transpiration. So far we have found that uh, the younger April orchards, they transpire less water as compared to the full bearing uh, mature orchards. And then we have also concluded that it is not really about the crop load that is on the tree, that uh, it's using more water. It's about the, the leaves, it's about the canopy cover. So the more canopy you have, the more water that is uh, being transpired from that particular orchard. You see, there are many aspects of our daily lives that the CSIR is impacting. For more information about the CSIR, visit our website on csir.co.za. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media to like, share and comment on our posts. The CSIR, touching lives through innovation.